my name's Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are listening to a song called King of the Hill by Thundercat. Uh, so I've, I've not heard any Thundercat before that I know of. I may have heard it in like a social situation or a party situation or even a commercial situation, but who knows? I have, I have not, to my knowledge, listened to Thundercat. Uh, my, one of my, my good friends likens him to uh, Frank Zappa on the bass, like if Frank Zappa played bass. Or focused on bass, maybe. But anyway, yeah, that, his words. <laughs> uh, so a little bit about um, Thundercat. I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia. Thundercat. Stephen Lee Bruner, born October 19th, 1984. Better known by stage name Thundercat, is an American bass guitarist, singer, songwriter, and actor from Los Angeles. First coming to prominence as a member of crossover thrash band Suicidal Tendencies. Cool. He has since released four solo studio albums and is noted for his work with producer Flying Lotus and his appearance on Kendrick Lamar's 2015 album To Pimp a Butterfly. That's another group name I've, I've heard come up in conversation in the past, Flying Lotus. And uh, I've yet to listen to, to, to Pimp a Butterfly. I listened to Good Kid, Mad City, and I loved it. Top rap albums of all time. And I hear To Pimp a Butterfly is, is awesome as well. Um, and the song, King of the Hill. So the song is on his fourth studio album, It Is What It Is, released through Brain Feeder on April 3rd, 2020. That's a cool name for a record label. Brain Feeder? That's kick-ass. That's so, uh, like a horror movie. Brain Feeder, coming soon to a theater near you. So this song, King of the Hill, I don't know if it's a reference to the TV show. I do not know. I do not know. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This is a fresh listen. This is... Wake up! Thundercat, <laughs> King of the Hill. Very c calming and soothing already, like a lullaby. Yeah, it's like... It's going to kick in. Oh, that's groovy. Jeez, I got to hear that with like the record needle scratching on that. That's like prime vinyl sound. That's classic already. Instant classic. Instant classic. King of the Hill, indeed. Interesting chord choices. Like, I. I haven't heard that uh, chord progression much that I think about it in like pop music. If this is pop music, that's, that's better than pop music though. Um, I'm, I, I'm digging just like, yeah, the retro sound of it. Very, very sweet vocals, everything. And, and okay. And, and like my friend said, he is noted for his bass playing. So let's pay attention to the bass and see, see if any bass pops up. Like, yeah, there it is. I bet he. I bet he plays like a Fender Precision bass or a jazz bass or something. I like that tone. I like that. Who? Nice harmony. Man, this song's sweet. This song's sweet. It's like, lyrically from what I've uh, been understanding, it's uh, some like prince in a castle has to like pay his debts or something. King of the Hill, yeah. The king of the hill and the prince of the hill wants the the throne that the king occupies.
Nice guitar, right? Jeez, that's cool. That's like Zappa esque. That's like a sounds like a clavichord, I think it's called, or harpsichord. Maybe probably harpsichord. It's kind of hidden in the mix, but it's it's vital. That is so rad. Jeez. Awesome lyrics. Is it fading out already? That means it's over already. Aw, oh, Boo Earns. That should be longer. That's my first criticism. I was expecting or hoping for, like, some sweet jam part or middle eight part or something. But nonetheless. Almost three minutes long, so I guess, yeah, it's their typical pop song length, but... I enjoyed that way more. Like, the, yeah, the first thing that that stood out to me was the unusual chord progression. It sounded like E, like root E to root C sharp, and the chords therein were like I don't know. It didn't. It had more to them than, than just your typical major or minor. But I wasn't able to like pick out the exact uh, uh, name of the chord. Like I, I'm sure I heard a C sharp within the the E major. For you music nerds out there, that would make it a E sixth chord, if I know my theory right. But anyway, I digress. Um, And another thing I liked about it was the vocals. I liked everything about it. Sweet bass playing, like, dude, do 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 just walking all over. It reminded me a bit of uh, John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin as well. And, uh, I just reminded myself that I should start putting, like, images whenever I, I mention something in the video. So this will be the first video that I do that for. Every reference will be a picture of the, the thing that I'm referencing. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you would like to see and hear more references, uh, courtesy or, uh, from, from the songs that I listen to and we listen to together here, youtube.com slash Tim Cleaver. Yeah, let me know what you've been listening to. Let me know, like, what's the the new thing in, in good music. What have you been, like, rocking out to and jamming out to and, and grooving out to? What what makes you want to play, like, air keyboards or air guitar? Yeah. Okay, we've seen air guitar uh, competitions, right? Why aren't there any air guitar competitions or air, air classical piano competitions? That's what I want to see more of in life, my friends. Yes. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That would be much appreciated and and loved. Yes. Yes. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. That was Thundercat, King of the Hill.